difference is real world knowledge, stuff you'll still need to transact and you'll still want to know, you know, how to convert feet to acreage or acreage to feet, square foot, you know, things like that. But for the most part, it's really just like, okay, I've experienced this before. This is how I handled it in the past. This solution works for this or it doesn't and you're constantly learning. Write it just like you're writing a story. Don't spend time with like, hey, this is me, this is my resume. You definitely put that lower, like here's links to my clips, this is who I am, but if you just want to get right into it, and the, the pitch is showcasing your writing itself. It's not just, oh, I can write this great story about this, you know, dog cemetery. You know, you need to get into the dog cemetery right away. So then I'm hooked with, oh, this looks like a really great story, and I don't have to wonder, can she handle it? Can she actually produce a good piece? You're showing that in the email. New subject, I want to make sure that I kind of keep them, you know, if, if I'm going to shoot into shade, I want them to be shade as well, and I'll light it myself. That's usually what I do. If I'm working with the sun, then I just want to make sure that if they're sunlit, that the background behind them sunlit is too, like is also sunlit. So, you know, you just kind of have to work with what you've got. And I'd say that's that was the biggest shock to me <laughs> becoming a photographer and shadowing was just the job in general is so freeform like it's on you to figure out how to create this stuff visually like your your desk isn't going to tell you go out there and oh like make sure everything's in sunlight make sure like you know all, all your sound I don't know uh, it's they don't tell you how to go out there and get it like you kind of have to figure out how to do it and then you know come out there with my reporter who might have a mind of their own and like might want to like stand in the shade because it's hot outside but that doesn't really work for me then you kind of have to like take charge of that situation and be like you know i need this to be this big you know that's part of the working relationship with a field crew um the biggest so like i mean while those are issues i would say the biggest issues You know, like I said, even if it's just one day that you have to enter, right? Mm -hmm. Make the most out of that one day. Absolutely. But do it. Yeah. You know, because there is no, I can't. You know what? You don't say that, I can't. Yeah, there's a way to do it. As a full-time student carrying a five, five yeah. course, mm -hmm. course load, and I was a full-time intern. I sh probably should not have done a full-time internship, and as an internship supervisor now, five years in, I'm so flexible with my students. I'm like, no, I don't want you to be in here more than you have to. Like my interns, I know they have full-time jobs. I know they have school. And I tell them, if you have an exam the next day and you're stressed and you're gonna come to my office to like try and do internship work and you're gonna be stressed not thinking about my, like not putting your all in, I'd rather you stay at home and study for your exam, crush your exam, then come back to me the next day and then work hard with me. So your, your professionals that you're working with are so flexible, tell them, be honest, be transparent with them and they will understand. But I have no sympathy for people who say they can't do it because I did it. We all like we have. You have to do it if you want to succeed. Like you have to.
you don't want to check off boxes. You know, it's funny when you look at a lot of, this is also a good tip when you're looking at companies to work for, you'll see on the HR page, the whole EEOP thing, equal opportunity employer and all the legal jargon that has to be there. And then directly under that, they'll say, and we're all about inclusivity and diversity, which is illegal compared to EEOP. So keep those things in mind. Always just focus on what do I want to be doing with my life? What is the type of work that I want mm -hmm. to do? Work with a company that does that thing and does it well. And you can contribute and be a player in that. If you are good at what you do, it doesn't matter who you are. You are going to do well and you're going to rise to the top. What I would definitely recommend is just like find a good internship that really fits the skill set that you're looking to do while you're outside of college and uh, just really hone in and be very persistent and know what you want to do and kind of hone in on what you want to do and you know there's a lot of good companies in town that they're looking for hungry younger individuals to you know come in give them a new sense of you know what's the younger generation wanting. Because we know that in a week from now, people are going to go back and probably make comments on 